Hey guys, Christian here, and today we're gonna go over Online Store 2.0. What is it, what can you do with it, and I'm gonna show you the only free theme right now that supports it. Let's get started. Online Store 2.0 opens up massive opportunities for online store owners building on Shopify. They've rebuilt the online store experience from the ground up and are introducing a new set of tools to help you create amazing experiences for shoppers. Number one is the new editor. New features in the Online Store 2.0 start with a fresh new editing experience. You may have seen this already. The new editor makes it really simple for merchants to build storefronts from scratch, add various theme extensions, and manage apps within themes. The idea with the new editor was to centralize all available features and functionalities. We'll be showing you a little bit of how that looks here towards the end. But before we move on, I just wanna say welcome to everyone new. My name is Christian Pignon, one of the co-founders here at Pay Branding. We've been helping frustrated store owners since 2015, become impactful store owners through tutorials, tactics, and strategies. And again, the one way that you can support our channel is by hitting that subscribe button and turning on notifications. All right, so another great feature is sections are everywhere. Now, up until now, merchants have been limited in how they represent their business on Shopify with the flexibility of sections being limited to only the homepage. Co-edits and elaborate workarounds with blocks, custom apps, etc. you were able to achieve a similar effect across other pages. That all changes with sections on every page. Now merchants can add sections to all pages, not just the homepage, unlocking a range of new opportunities to personalize every aspect of a store. Now don't forget, towards the end of the video, I'm gonna show you the only free theme that supports OS 2.0 and some of the things that we're talking about right now. Another great feature is theme app extensions with app blocks. App blocks represent a radial change in the way apps are included inside the themes. App developers can now build UI components that can be added and removed or configured directly through the theme editor without having to touch the code or anything like that. This means that uninstalls are also cleaner and the code will be automatically removed, which is really, really nice. Now, another great feature of OS 2.0 is the ability to hit that like button and makes us very happy. All jokes aside, uh, the next uh, big thing is they've added improvements to meta fields. So you guys will be able to add exactly the content that you need to the product page, like introducing a space for buyers to include a size chart or an ingredient list, etc. We've actually made a video on this topic. You can check it out right here. Now, before I show you the only free theme with OS 2.0, I wanna tell you about our free masterclass training that will walk you through the five pillars that must be in place for your online store to scale consistently and profitably, no matter what's going on in the world. So make sure to check that the description below for that link and that training, which is awesome and you need it right now. All right, let's go check out the store. All right, so here we have our Dawn theme. Uh, we're actually in our Totally 90s Kid store. We've added the Dawn theme, which is the only free theme right now that supports OS 2.0. There may be some new ones in the future, but again, this is the only free one that Shopify uh, gives you. So if right now you're using a free theme, that's maybe some of the old ones, you definitely want to upgrade to Dawn and make some changes around your, your store. Uh, so that it supports some of the latest technology and some of the things that we were talking about earlier. So, uh, as you can see, the the editing of the uh, theme is gonna be a little bit different. So on the left-hand side, you'll see that this looks a little bit different from before. Um, I think the, the major difference here is that it breaks down a little bit more of the components of each section right within here, instead of having to click on it to then see the settings, which you can still do. You can still click on image banner and it gives you additional settings, but then it gives you some of the elements that are inside of that image banner. Um, as you can see the, the heading and then some of the buttons in here. So you have a more granular control of your actual store. Now, some of the things that we talked about, for example, if now um, all these adding blocks and adding section was only available for the homepage, but now you can actually do it for any page. So if we go to page and let's just say like the contact page, uh, inside of the contact page, as you can see, now we have add section. So we can actually add blog posts, a collage, a collection, we can add product to the contact page if we wanted to. So let me show more. And this theme actually uh, supports a lot of different things in here. 
So that's actually really, really cool. Now, depending on the types of apps that you have and if the developers have updated the apps to support this already, you will see, um, if you can see at the very bottom here, the section says apps. Um, so this will show you, so I think a good example, and let me see, I may have, we may have it installed in here. So let's go to the product page um, and I may be able to show you uh, what this might look like. <clears throat> so for example, the product information here now is breaking down into all the different sections in here. So we can actually move some stuff around. If we wanna move the pricing to be a little bit lower or closer to the add to car button, we can do that by just, um, let's see, grabbing the price and then moving it right here. So you see now the price shows up right above the add to car button. But more importantly, we can, uh, for example, if we add the reviews app, we can actually select where those reviews actually go into. So let me see, ad block. Okay, so we, yeah, we technically don't have it, but if we added the reviews app in here, it will show up right here and we will be able to add that block in here and we'll be able to select exactly where it goes. Whereas before you had to go and do that through code and pick and choose and copy and paste the code in different spots, refresh the page to see where it would actually land. So a lot of different cool features. Um, again, if you do not have this Dawn free theme and you're using a free theme right now, I would highly recommend upgrading to this theme so you can take advantage of all these new features. All right, that's all we have for today. Now, if you're still interested in learning more about Online Store 2.0, then let me know in the comments down below. We can make a version two of this video talking about a few more things that will be added. Again, all these new features are being added. Uh, I believe everything should be up and running towards the end of the year where a lot of the themes will support this OS 2.0. So you will see some of those changes happening inside of Shopify and inside of your store where you may get some messages to upgrade your theme. So be on the lookout for that. All right, take care. And manage apps within theme, themes. And manage apps within theme. And manage apps within the themes, themes. And manage apps within themes.